Hello, my name is Elena Giglia. I work here at the University of Turin, where I'm head of the Open Access Office. And I've been involved in many uh, workshops, projects, working groups at national and international level. And today I'm going to tell you something about the Operas and Cooperas projects. I can perfectly recall when Pierre Mounier uh, took me aside during a conference in Athens and started talking about sharing skills and services uh, to make publishing in the humanities and social sciences an easier experience for the researchers. Um, at that moment we have been collaborating with uh, Open Edition for many projects, uh, so I immediately fell for this uh, idea of sharing and uh, mutually learning and not reinventing the wheel every day as the needs are one and the same. Um, it was 2015 and soon after the University of Turin joined uh, in the IRMEOS project. IRMEOS has been funded uh, in the Horizon 2020 uh, project and it was a sort of proof of concept of what would have later become uh, OPERAS. OPERAS is a research infrastructure connecting people with different backgrounds from different countries uh, with different expertise and start working together developing services to increase the overall quality of the publishing system. If you think of it, in the humanities publishing still means a myriad of national, uh, regional initiatives uh, of, often linked to small realities, often not so keen on digital, often not so keen on collaboration and often slow in adopting uh, innovations. So slow even in adopting standard and therefore the quality of outputs vary uh, widely. Uh, problem is, when actors playing isolated, fragmentation turns into disintegration. And so the scientific community which need efficient partners to share their ideas and to circulate the outputs, the outcomes of their research are negatively impacted. And this gets worse in case of a global change in which you need to redefine and renew your mission, uh, your workflow, your business model, your tools. The global change was the digital turn and now all the more so, we have the open science revolution. So, uh, emails took off in 2017, and then we uh, immediately uh, started drawing a wider picture. Uh, why only publications? It's true that in the humanities and social sciences, researchers spend almost one third of their time reading books and journals, so we had to start from there. Publications are just one step in the scholarly communication life cycle. You have to take into account even the initial step, which is discovery. And discovery can be at stake if material is still on paper, as it used to be when I was a PhD student so many years ago. And then you have to think uh, about uh, quality. You have to certify the peer review process a book goes through in order to be accountable and to be transparent. And what about national languages? Humanities and social sciences still write in, in national languages. So multilingualism as bibliodiversity is, of course, is a richness, but it also poses questions. And what about societal impact? you need to reach out to society first to open a dialogue. So that's how the idea of OPERAS took shape. Uh, OPERAS is a research infrastructure in the social sciences and the humanities built around the specific research practices in the social sciences and humanities, uh, including working with a book. As Margot Barguil reminded us, the long argument is the researcher laboratory in the humanities. OPERAS is a research infrastructure taking care of the whole cycle of the scholarly communication, uh, putting the community and at the center of it. I've been loving from the beginning two points uh, in the OPERAS project. 
and one is the final goal, uh, to give back control to the community over scholarly communication, engaging all the players, researchers, librarians, publishers, and valorizing their different skills and competencies. And then Opera's approach, not imposing anything, not substituting anyone, but nurturing the players in order to increase the overall quality of the ecosystem. Opera's building blocks are the service implemented in your mails and ready to use for any publisher, like identification, annotation, entity recognition and metrics. Then the infrastructure will develop along three axes to discover, certify and activate research, again not reinventing the wheel but leveraging on existing effective services uh, to be scaled up, like Easydoor, which will offer a single entry point uh, to search for text, data and other materials in several languages, or like the director of open access books for the certification process, or the new platform to activate research, engaging the society through scientific blogging and citizen science in a mutual uh, listening exercise. In the end, the European Open Science Cloud came, so how could have we missed the opportunity to help the communities bringing the long tail of social sciences and humanities into it. And that's how the Cooperas Implementation Network was created within the GoFair initiative. Uh, Cooperas is aimed at making humanities data fair, findable, accessible, interoperable, and reusable, uh, through metadata enrichment, uh, standard adoption, and so on. And again, we are doing it by listening to the community. We started a series of workshops asking them what is data, asking them to define data in the humanities, and then based on the reflection and the real needs, uh, we can start building something the community deserves, not to miss the opportunity of the European Open Science Cloud and of Open Science at large.